This meeting is being live streamed. Thank you, Sue. Righty ho. Okay. Right, let me get back. Let me get back. Hey, folks. I'm Aslin Blore from linsfood.com. And over there in Arizona is my good friend. I'm GNG with GNG's Kitchen. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Happy, is it, is it Friday? Yes, of course it is. Yes, it we is. always do a we show on Fridays. <laughs> Thank goodness. Exams are over here in the UK. So school is over here too. <laughs> that's it. So my kids are singing Leonard Skinner, you know, free as a bird, in case you didn't know. So today, guys, is our last show for a little while, for about a month, for about five weeks or so. So we're doing easy peasy because both Gianji and I are going to be away and our times are not coinciding. So first I'm away for two weeks and Gianji is away. So we shall be seeing you again on the 5th. It's the 5th, isn't it, Gianji? Correct. The 5th. 5th of August on Gianji's channel. Yep. So today right. we're going to be doing... Two drinks, very, very easy summer drinks, way, hashtag way too easy drinks. And we're going to do two variations of each one, you know, just to stretch it a little bit. So I am going to be doing a yogurt based drink that is extremely popular in Central Asia, uh, the Middle East and North Africa. It's called Duh or I run. So it's yogurt based. Now, Gianji, what are you doing? I'm going to make a frullato di frutta or Italian fruit smoothie. And we have to kind of stretch the Italian part of it because Italian are very, when it comes, this is their summer drink. And it is so traditional that actually you can find recipe of frullati in Italian cookbooks because it's just very basic, very simple. The imagination is your limit pretty much so, but there is a couple of base recipes. So I'm going to be making two frullatos, two fruit smoothie, which the Italian, the traditional Italian way, which will have a banana, peaches, and then I add a little bit of mango because I had it. So I will have one, which is of the yellow, very pretty shape. And then I will have another one, which is with berries. And I have a blackberries, strawberries I couldn't find the name as well as banana and I also have some blueberry that I'm going to add on over here to it so we'll have two a very pretty light but at the with a little bit of sugar a little bit of milk and that's it and this is a traditional Italian dessert and everybody when you go because my parents used to have a gelateria so my mom used to always make this in the morning patrons came in enjoyed a, a glass of it went to the beach excellent for the summertime because of banana potassium and all the vitamins. Yeah, so. that, that's really interesting because the rest of us take fruit smoothies, um, well, not for granted because I'm sure some people have never seen the inside of a smoothie glass, but, uh, you know, <laughs> smoothies are kind of um, healthy, healthy thingies for many people. I mean, I have smoothies for lunch, for my lunch most days, Sundays, with the exception of Sundays. But to you guys, it's a summer thing. It's a summer drink for the Italian. It's a summer drink. And it, it kind of extends, because in the summer, we have the highest amount of fresh fruit. Let's face yeah. it, all the berries are out in the summertime. Peaches are just at the peak. Then mm. comes apricot. You can even do melon if you want to. So mm. those are the basic. I mean, I added mango because it's very, it's on season here and we love it. But pretty much it's a, fr a fresh fruit drink mm. you know fruta yeah. fresca which is fresh fruit so that's how the, it's made on the summer now yeah. you can also do this during the winter with frozen food frozen frozen fruits but my advice is to let them thaw out a little bit and then it's, there is always some little liquid just get that over with and then just do it obviously it's not the same vitamins it's not the same content but it gives you that little perfect pick me yeah. up I don't put any proteins. I don't put any chai. I don't put anything in it. Basic. I mean, we're talking basic. <laughs> cool. Okay. So I'm going to start first. Mine, it, uh, I'm doing two versions. One is the Persian version called Du, and the other one is the Afghan version. And um, it's really, really so easy. The, the, this drink actually goes back, you know, goes back a few, a few hundreds of years. Initially, 
it was it was made as a byproduct of creating buttermilk um, or butter. You they, they would put it in sort of a sheepskin stomach bag, and then the women would be shaking it, shaking it, and shaking it forever until the milk sort of you know could um you know the way you make butter. So whatever you, uh, uh, liquid is left is drained off, and you get your doog. These days, you'll find these ready-made in bottles, like we would find any old drink here, Agua Fresca in Latin America, that kind of stuff. You'll find it commercially made everywhere in the areas I've mentioned. So I'm going to do, start off with the easy, easy version. So we've got Greek yogurt, thick Greek yogurt. So in the first one, all we're going to do is place our yogurt in a little jug, you know, measurements and stuff, 250 mils, one cup of yogurt uh, with bits and pieces of mint, uh, dried edible rose petals topped with cucumber. So the herbs, the garnishing is completely up to you. But as far as the yogurt is concerned, one cup, 250 mils of yogurt and topped up with fizzy water is essentially for two people. You'll find the whole, full recipe for both of our stuff in the... Um, you know, you know, the spiel of the YouTube Beneath. video itself, that's it. So we've got yogurt here, right? And um, what I'm going to do is I've got a, a glass. Shall we let's have this one, this one? Let's do this one. So I've got a glass here. And, and what I'm going to do is add a pinch of salt. So you've got a pinch of uh -huh. salt for just a little Why bit. Why salt? Of, so essentially it adds flavor. So you've got tangy from there, you've got a little salt from here. When you think about it again, like the smoothie, you know, it adds, it gives you sodium for hot, hot days. So we've got calories, we've got a little bit of sodium. And so what we're going to do is add some dried mint. You can chop up fresh mint if you want also. I'm going to just add a little bit of dried mint. Ooh, that was a bit more than I wanted to. And some crushed rose dried edible rose petals i've used this before on my channel on cooking with gianji i've used them before i'll give you a link for how to use dried edible rose petals they've got to be edible the word has to has to be there when you're buying it okay so no pesticides in other words so crush your dried edible rose petals in there we're going to mix this and ooh, I've got ice cubes, so we're going to add some ice cubes in there. And we're going to lighten the yogurt ever so slightly to make it easier to pour. You can also use still water if you want. So we're, we're lightening the yogurt just to allow us to pour it easier. And then there we go. In it goes. And then all you do is top this with fizzy water. Fizzy water is best. Um, it's a some. It's a. It's it's a drink for hot weather for hot temperatures. Mm -hmm. So fizzy water is best simply because it's more refreshing than still flat water. And yeah. you can stir that or leave it as it is. And when someone when when, it, when you're actually drinking it, you can stir it then. And then what we do is we just sad little mint I've got here. So we just, you know, garnish it with a little bit of fresh mint, add some edible, crushed edible rose petals on top some more. If you want, you don't really need it because we've got enough. And that's it. Now, while I say it is great for hot weather, this is also a very, very traditional accompaniment to so many to Persian meals, just yeah. like you have yogurt on the side, you have borani, that's yogurt-based dishes in Persia. You've got raita, which is Indian. They are accompaniments to meals. Do is also a drink that accompanies meals in Persian, in the Persian culture. So there you go. This is do, the Persian version of this yogurt-based drink. That's so then, it. That, that's how long it takes. That's Fabulous. Yeah, right. really I mean, you I have everything at home. Way oh. too easy. Right. That's way too Your easy. Turn. 
<laughs> my turn. Well, it's as easy as it as was, um, and proportion is pretty much as you wish. Um, I do like um, this is what the wonderful thing about this frullato is also if you have fruits already to pass their little prime, excellent to use them instead of just going, oh, I don't know what to do. Just, you know, obviously if they're gone, gone, you toss them. But when they're just too mature, then you can't really do anything with it. It's perfect. So I have here four peaches because they are small. So I'm going to put those into my little fruit process, like blender. I also have uh, two mangoes. I'm having a hard time speaking today. Two mangoes. And I'm going to put two bananas. Now we have a saying in Arizona, say you never buy banana ready, but you know, green bananas, because you buy green bananas because it's so darn hot, they turn fast. I do have an old banana and I have a new banana we just bought yesterday and it's not green anymore as much. So you just pretty much put that in, take the bottom off. Actually, I, should not you know, done I, I, I like to eat bananas while at that stage where they're just beginning to ripen. Yeah, well, you know what is also wonderful? They do here a lot. They put banana in the freezer and then they freeze it and they eat it as chips, which is really, really good. Ooh, and also ouch. banana is a lot it, of- it Doesn't that hurt your teeth? No, it's like, it's a, it's, it's a chip. It's, it's pretty good. I mean, people like to eat ice cubes here in the States. So, you know, they do that and it's refreshing and um, hmm. that's pretty much it. But also your um, banana is potassium. And when you live on the eat yeah. like we do, we have, we lack a lot of banana, a lot of potassium. So we need it. Little bit of sugar, just a little bit, uh, and Scotia, and then reg I put regular milk. People put uh, low fat. Also, if you want to do this, if you have dairy issues, or if you want to do a vegan, you can put apple juice. That's more the American version, but in Europe they're starting doing it, as well as orange juice too. So oh, you can oh, just on, on non non dairy milk like soya milk, oat milk, almond milk, that kind of stuff. Exactly. But I think, you know, oranges and apple juice. Now, if you put apple juice, please don't put as much sugar because apple juice is already sweet as it is. So you just kind of put a little bit. I like mine thick. There you go. Kind of cover it. And then I am going to mute myself because I'm going to have to turn this baby on. So I don't want to bug you guys with the zzz going. So I'll be a half a second. I'm off. Yeah, I'll be using the blender. I'm not going to do the same thing because I'll have to walk all over there to mute myself and then unmute myself. So not going to happen. So there you go. So Gianji's doing her, her um, Italian fruit smoothie. I can't remember what she said it was called. So Italian fruit smoothie, she can tell us after. And she's got uh, milk, she's got mangoes and she's got a banana in there. And Oh, a little bit of sugar. If you if you don't do dairy, you can use orange juice or apple juice, but perhaps um, skip the sugar or easy on the sugar. And I think she's just about done. So in case you've just joined us, we're doing two very, very easy summer drinks. I'm doing a yogurt-based drink that's popular in the Middle East, um, North Africa, and Central Asia. Uh, I'm doing two versions, the Persian version, which I did here, which was just a simple case of mixing yogurt, fizzy water, a pinch of salt, some mint and some dried uh, edible rose petals. That was it. And I'm back. And she's back. With the, how do you say it in Italian? Frutta, frullato di frutta. Frullato means mixed smoothie. Di means of frutta fruit. So this frullato is my... Frullato di frutta. Frutta. That's it. <laughs> Or Italian smoothie. There you Italian go. Italian fruit smoothie. There you go. This is one. Actually, probably there's a little bit more than three glasses, but that's okay. I have everyone of the house today is looking forward to this. So this is one. And that's literally all it takes. Awesome. So this one, this one had, had milk, bananas, and mangoes, and a bit of sugar, right? That's right. So mango, bananas, um, peaches. Let's not forget the peaches and, uh, and uh, sugar and milk. So this is one. 
So you want to move on to the rest while I'm that that looks really. I love. I there. have to say, I love my smoothies. As I mentioned earlier, they they they're my lunch on most days. Okay, so <clears throat> pardon me. Our second one is is called. Um, our second one is how do or Iran is made in Afghanistan. And uh, speaking of Afghanistan, our thoughts and prayers go with with the folks over there uh, who've suffered a massive earthquake. I think yes, yesterday, uh, yes, before. it was a couple of days ago that, that it was it was, it was around those poor people that just saw my heart and prayers too. So yes, so we're going to go ahead with how this is made in Afghanistan. So we're going to start with some yogurt again. And then we're going to add, add a little bit of mint. We can also we can also add fresh mint if you prefer to go down that that route. But tr uh, dried mint is traditional in yogurt based dishes, whether it's drinks or a side dish. And then and then um, now I think I'm going to leave out the dried rose petals in this time. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to grate some cucumber. Actually, let's do a little bit more. So I've got volume to blend. So there we go, which means a little bit more mint. And then the salt, if you remember, we add a pinch of salt for flavor. I've got a mixture of fine sea salt here and a bit of Himalayan rock salt, which doesn't make it easy to grab the fine bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grate some cucumber Leave the skin on, take the skin off. That's completely up to you, but I prefer it with the green. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so we're going to dump some cucumber in there and then we are going to zap this up. Hopefully I've got enough here to zap without adding our fizzy water, which is just going to bubble up. Right, sorry, not muting. <laughs> As my kids would say, sorry, not sorry. So, right, I'm going to just do it here. So, I was, oh, go ahead. Go on. I, I have had that drink. Actually, I went to an Afghanistani restaurant in uh, DC and I have had it and I loved it. It was really, really good. It, it makes it it's so different isn't it mm -hmm. i mean it's it has similarities the uh south asians have a similar drink and of course you know um they also have uh lassi which mm -hmm. is what what this is and then but most people are familiar with mango lassi where your mango is is um blended in there so now what i'm going to do to that so we've got essentially just a blended blended yogurt with mint and the cucumber has been blended in there so that fresh freshness of the cucumber is in there so can you imagine how um refreshing this drink is so we're going to just add that fizzy water in there you can use still water if fizzy water is not your thing so we're just going to stir that And then we're just going to pour it into our glass. And that is excellent with lamb. Yeah, it definitely, definitely is. So, and then you know, if we you can top you can you can top it up with some more fizzy water, or you know, you could have done the same thing I did there, which is topped the, the beaten uh, yogurt with fizzy water and then decorate it with a little bit of rose petals. Actually, we're going to start with a cucumber. So we're just going to take a little bit of our grated cucumber. And we're just going to place it on the top there and then add a little bit of rose petals and a sprinkling of dried mint just for added flavor. And then the usual thing, finish off with some fresh mint leaves. That's it. There you go. Beautiful. All done. All done. Well, the other one I'm going to be making is uh, with berries. I have strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. I am going to do it, exact and I'm going to put a banana with it. I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Um, measurements is up to you. I just kind of grab what I have. I don't really measure this because it's, uh, I just don't measure it. 
But if you want to, it's, um, it's up to you. Literally, it doesn't have to be that precise. And a banana, I'm just going to put a one banana in there instead of two. And uh, milk. And I am done. But the same thing, make sure that you re oh, put a little bit of sugar. Okay, I like sugar, all right? Let's face it. I think I do. <laughs> you really don't need to put sugar in it, but I do. And just a little bit of milk. There you go. And I am going to be muting myself again because my thing makes a lot of noise, as you have noticed a second ago. So, musing, muse setting. Oh. It's starting to rain here in the UK. Right then. So we've got, I'm making a yogurt-based drink. Janji's doing, I can't remember what she said, Italian fruit smoothie. I can't remember what she said in Italian, but anyway, she's making Italian fruit smoothie, which is a must in Italy during the summer months. So she said that her, her mom or her grandmother used to make it sort of first thing in the morning, in the summer, they'd have it and then they'd go off to the beach and then and they'd have all these calories and, and, and potassium from the banana and vitamin C and anthocyanins, all sorts of antioxidants in there, given that particular color of that, that smoothie itself. I think she's just unmuting herself And I'm now. back. All right. There you go. And you can see this is a beautiful, beautiful purple rich color and do the same thing. Just pour it down and enjoy it. Now I clean my thing, but if you have kids at home and they ask, request different things, you of uh, different fruit, you don't have to clean it. The base is the same. So there you go. I got a little bit less than this one and on the other one. That is full of purple goodness. That's amazing. Mm. And there you have it, folks. So Prince would have, have loved it. I'm sorry? Prince would have loved it. I'm sorry, yes. I'm just well, full of corny jokes. No, that's okay. I'm a Prince lover, so I totally understand. I completely get it. You know, the Purple Rain tour. Hey, I was there. I was in line for six Ooh. hours. And they closed the door, nine people before me, and I couldn't get in. So I cat them every other time I could. So berries, peaches, too easy, easy, easy. Excellent for summer. Excellent any time of the year. Frullato di frutta or Italian fruit smoothie. Excellent. And I've got Doug or Iran, aka Iran, the one on the left. Oh, don't, oh, do that. don't pull a <laughs> the one on the left. Don't here. pull a <laughs> The one on the left here was made with um, just mixing yogurt and uh, a bit of mint and edible rose petals, touch of salt, and then topped up with fizzy water. This one had cucumber blended into it along with the, with the um, mint. So, and then a little bit of fizzy water as well. So there you go, two different ways of having this drink. Very, very popular, not just in hot weather, but also in cold weather as part of a meal, the drink you would have during a very traditional meal in North Africa, Middle East and Central Asia. So super easy drinks for you. And Gianji and I are going to take a month long break, about five weeks, and we shall be back when are we back, Gianji? August 5th. So, and we'll try to, if you have a, any suggestion between here and there of things that you would like Aslan or me to prepare, please send it, you know, put it a little note, send us a note. Aslan and I will both have our own channels, as you know, and we'll be more than happy to put together some things and dishes and we, you may want us to see to cook, right, Aslan? Absolutely, kind of absolutely. Well, when we come back in August, uh, we will we will do some some summer stuff. But we will also be looking at perhaps easy um, easy lunches and lunchbox meals, that kind of stuff, perhaps. Or maybe since Gianji and I both have kids who are starting their first years at uni, Gianji's yep. son is coming to London. My my daughter is well. She'll she'll have to wait to see to wait for results to know where she's going, and um, so we will probably be doing easy meals for students to some extent. Easy meals for students, but hey, easy meals for everybody. Hey, at the end of the day, you know we all can enjoy some easy meals, but the kids will be kind of fun to kind of ease them into the college life. And luckily, mine has a little kitchenette 
where he's going to be staying. And but still, there is little easy meals. And then we'll get into our holidays, of course, as as the year progresses, which yeah. I cannot believe. We are already no. in June, the end of June. Unbelievable. That's right. I shan't, I shan't look forward to autumn and Christmas. We haven't done oh. summer yet. <laughs> no, no. But, you know, we do. We have to think of those things. So, so there you have it. Right. Janji, do your usual spiel, Janji. All righty. So if you like this video, thumbs up, comment, like it, please share it and invite all your friends. Asla and I love to do this. We really enjoy it. And so any comments you have, please set it. But don't forget, subscribe, like, comment. Thank you. Absolutely. So you guys take care. You have a good month or so while, while we're away. And if you're away, you have a good holiday too. Ping us if you need a special recipe. And we shall see you guys again in five weeks or so. Bye. Bye.